This lesson deals with supplemental problem 6.3. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 6 supplemental problem starting on page 3. For the differentiator circuit of supplemental problem 6.2, let's let C1 be 0.1 microfarad, R2 10k ohms, and let's let V sub S be this triangle wave that goes from minus 2 to plus 2, back to minus 2, and so on. Have a period here of 1 millisecond, beats itself again, and again every 1 millisecond. Can you predict the value of V out? And then can you simulate this circuit with piecewise and verify your results? We have that V out is equal to minus R2 C1 dVS dt. So what's the derivative of this curve? Well, it's a constant. There are two values, this value here and then this value. Okay, slope is the rise over the run. So we have a rise of 4 voltage, run of 0.5 milliseconds. And that's actually going to repeat itself every half period. Slope here is negative. Rise over the run would be a minus 4 volt change over again a half a millisecond change. And that's going to repeat itself again every half period, so one here and one here. So if we now take that and multiply it by minus R2C1, first slope, I get a minus 8 volts. So when that's occurring, the output voltage is minus 8. And for the second case, then we have a negative R2C1, and so the minus signs cancel, I get a plus 8. So I get a square wave going between minus 8 and plus 8 with a period of one millisecond or a frequency of one kilohertz. First thing we need to do for our spice simulation is to label all the nodes. So I'll call this one node one, node two, and node three, and then I have my ground here, which would be node zero. Let's replace the op amp by a voltage controlled voltage source. So I'm between nodes three and ground, sensing between nodes zero and two. So I'll call this a V sub X and then a million times V sub X. So we need a title, I'll call this a differentiator circuit, need a dot end, then we'll describe our schematic. So we have V sub S from nodes one to ground, capacitor C1 between nodes 1 and 2, or 2 and 1, and then the resistor between nodes 2 and 3. And then we have our voltage control voltage source between 3 and 0. So here's the first node is the plus, minus is the second, and then we're sensing plus terminal is ground, and the minus terminal is node 2, and the gain is 1 million, right? That is 1 MEG. Remember in SPICE, the uppercase and lowercase m means 10 to the minus 3. I could use our piecewise linear command to describe V sub S, at zero seconds, I have minus two volts. At five milliseconds, I have two volts. And then at one millisecond, I have minus two volts, and so on. We can build that triangle wave with just line segments. We have a dot probe. Let's go out to three milliseconds here. So divide this by 200, get 15 microseconds. Start printing at zero, and then make the ceiling step the same as the print step. It was our little trick for getting a smooth curve. Again, I'll explain why you pick the ceiling step equal to the print step in chapter eight of, of ECE 202. What I'd like to do is verify that my input is what I think it is. Many times that's all that's wrong with a circuit is that you've misprogrammed the voltage source. So let's take a look at node voltage one. So I go from minus two to plus two volts, and just repeat that, I did that out to three milliseconds. And here's the output of the op amp. It goes from here to here, and if you count the number of divisions here, I have one, two, three, four, five, so each one is two volts, so two, four, six, eight. So this is plus eight volts, and this is 2, 4, 6, minus 8 volts. The slope here is constant, the derivative is constant, and so we get a level coming out. And so we convert a triangle wave to a square wave. And this is supplemental problem 6.3.